video. Why can't I get that? No. I'm gonna redo that. Hey everyone, Chrissy here with Two Sheep, One Wheat, and today I have a triple threat for you. Today's video is a overview, a playthrough, and a review on Hadrian's Wall. Listen to me and watch me. Okay, so Hadrian's Wall is a flip and write, and it is for one to six players, and it's a pretty cool theme. And it's quite simple. You know what? I forgot my pen. Just wait. I'll be right back. I'm back. I got my pen slash marker. Okay, so yeah, like I was saying, this is a pretty cool theme. It's pretty easy. Um, I'll go over just like a little bit because you'll watch me play it. Okay, so first of all, um, it comes with these two giant pads of paper and you have this nice little like puzzle piece here for your years. The years go up to six and you are conducting a battle in every single one of these years with these cards right here. Um, since I'm playing solo, we're going to have an extra deck of generals just to kind of help us out. Um, we have all of our workers here. Um, resource. I guess this is what this is. It's not clay or anything. It's just resource. So first of all, I will go over some of these um, details here on the cards. Um, so basically you have your cohort here and you're trying to build these up. Um, it's your wall. You don't want anybody coming in and busting down. Um, you have your mining and forestry here. So this will give you extra resources and it'll give you um, your resource production, which is just down right here. You're gonna circle it in whenever you get one of these so that you know for your next year, then you can collect um, an extra one. So, and what you're using to be able to fill these in are the, um, your workers here, all different color ones. Uh, you have your wall guards. These things right here is for your cohorts so that you can fill them in and potentially gaining the bonus that is in there. Eventually, whenever you do fill it in, you have your sippy here, your wall and your fort. Now, all three of these correspond with your uh, with the section that's on the board here. So as long as you have all three of these filled out, then you are able to fill in all of these. As you can see, they are all chain reacted here. You can fill these in, these three, as long as you are uh, completed the third row right here. And then the same with this wall right here. So as long as you have that in, this is the uh, small greenery, and then you have the medium, and then you have the large. As long as you have, you pay the cost to build it, then you're able to start filling this in. And of course you wanna fill this in so that you can build up your cohort so nobody is getting in and potentially not losing any of your soldiers. And then down here, this is your, like I said, resource production whenever you are mining and um, the forestry up here. And then you're able to train uh, the grounds here. So you can trade in one of your blue workers and you can get one of these swords, which reacts to the wall guard here. You can fill in one of these maximum one training per year. And then you have these things right here, which all correspond with your greenery level. As long as you have those, then you can pay the resource to gain the benefit for every year. Then you have these landmarks right here that you're able to pay the cost for to gain the resources or the, uh, the benefits here, which are these right here. Now, basically this is where most of your points are coming from other than your cards that I'll explain in a minute. So, most of these have these symbols down here that you're filling out. And then once you get to a level 15, that is when you can start paying your way through your landmarks to gain those extra bonuses. Now we go over here, which is basically the society side of the game. Um, so you can pay your yellow worker right here to fill in these. And you have the traders, the performers, priests, these green ones, and you have these ones down here. And they all are color coded here so that you know exactly which ones you're working with. So for these ones right here, there are different buildings that you would need to build, but these ones give you extra uh, benefits and resources or the production resource. Um, here you need to build the market so that you can trade in these things to use different things from the cards, which I can get into later. And then you have the theater and these gladiators here, which you can train them to go into battle and then potentially gaining some of these um, benefits down here. 
um, the theater, you are trading these resources to gain these ones. And again, these ones right here is only one performance per year. You can only have a battle once per year as well for each the red and the blue. Then for the priests down here, you have small gardens, large gardens, you have the small temple, medium temple, large temple, and you need to pay to build these buildings before you can collect these bonuses. Um, uh, these ones right here, the bath. So whenever you go into a battle, um, potentially your cohorts may not be as built up as you'd like. For the attacks to come in and you lose men, then you would need to gain some of these disdains down here. Now based off of how many circles the disdains that you have, those are negative points towards the end of your score. Now if you do have one circled, you can um, potentially get rid of it by giving it a bath <laughs> or by having a bath. So that's what those ones do. Courthouse right here, you need to have the building built. Um, these ones looks like you gain uh, one of these purple workers here, um, which is a free cost. And then it goes into starting to cost more as you go up. And then you have the diplomats over here paying the cost to gain some valor right here. And then these ones right here, um, I'll get into these books here in just a second. Uh, we'll go into scouting here. You pay the cost to get these horses to be able to use the cards which I will explain both, uh, to fill in, basically there's cards here. I'll just flip this one here because we'll be going through this one. So you can use these cards right here as a, or tiles that you can place on here. And then once the row is completed, then you gain the valor. But once you fill in these tiles here, then you get the benefits from here as well. Now these ones, these cards here, I'll just flip over this deck right here. And these are the um, fate cards here. So at the top is where it will tell you where they're coming to attack your cohort. Now say I don't have any defense here in the center, then I would need to get a disdain, right? However, if I had something like this chosen, there's a couple of them in here that you can circle. These ones, you don't need to let them know. You don't have to pick which um, angle that they're coming in, except for these ones right here, you would need to select which way. So let's just say that we had one selected for the center, then I actually wouldn't have to take the disdain for this one because I'm protected. So we'll put all these back. now. At the end of the game, after the six rounds have gone by, the six years, that is when you start calculating your points and inputting them and everything. And then, um, because at the beginning of every year, you're selecting, you're drawing two cards and you're selecting one to be used as a uh, extra points to be calculated at the end, depending on what you have built in your village, your city, and you can collect those points that way. And then again, disdain is a negative point and you have the total. So as long as you're not playing solo, whoever has the most points at the end of the game, then you would win. If you are playing solo, they do have a track here for where you lie based off of your points. And so you can check that here. I have never played solo, so I guess this is gonna be an experience for me and everybody who's watching this video. Um, I have played this game a few times, a handful of times, and I've done quite well. I think I might even have won one, but I guess you won't know. So the reason that I'm playing this game solo is because there's not much interaction with this game. You are basically just playing your workers, paying for everything, your resources, coloring things in, flipping cards, and you're really, there's really no interaction. So I would tell you right now, it would probably be a boring video if I played with another player. So I'm gonna do it solo so that you guys can just listen to me chit chat. So I guess we will get into it. So first of all, I am going to draw two of my uh, generals and I'm gonna be picking which one I want. So the way that I play this game is I kind of pick which one I think that I'm gonna be able to score the most points on and that's which card that I go with. Um, so I think collected goods. I think I'm gonna go, yeah. I don't usually touch the market or the gladiators in this game. Maybe I'll try, but I think I'm gonna do the collected resources here. And then I will just collect this yellow and this resource. Now we will flip this one and these are all the resources that we're going to get this round. And three purple. I don't even know the names of these. Um, 
every time we get games like this, it's basically just the color that they are is what we end up usually calling them. And then I get one more of this and I have one resource production here. So I will get another resource. Okay. Now the box says um, 60 minutes on this game, but playing solo and I do play this game quite fast. Now having AP, I always overthink my plays, except in this game, I don't care what triggers and I'm not sitting here trying to figure out what's going to trigger the most points for me, which I think is just so strange and out of character, but that, I don't even know. I see something and I just do it. So we'll see, we'll see how this one goes. I guarantee you it's not gonna be an hour long video. So I am gonna go ahead and get rid of this yellow. We're gonna take this one for purple. And I think I want to, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna do all of these, which is what I usually end up doing. Purple for that yellow. Now I have a whole bunch of purple, but I don't have any of these forts done down here. So I'm gonna take my three that I have and I'm going to select these three here. And then, because I don't need that up there. So how many are there? There's only four. So I'll get rid of four. One, two, three, and four. And then I get another resource production and I get another resource. Um, because of that right there. So I think I can only go up to there and I have four resources. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all four resources and one, two, three, and four. So I get two yellow for that. So now what else can I do? Um, let's see if I can get a blue. I can get a blue for a yellow, so I'll take the blue and I am going to a blue. Oh, I should probably do this. Let's go ahead and do this. This is number one, year one. So I'm gonna change my blue to get the sword so that I can at least go up on one of my cohorts here. Now, how I play is I always feel one in each and then I go to the next one and the third one. That's just how I do it. You guys let me know how you do it if you've played this game. I'll fix that there. All right, so now we have a yellow and a purple. I can't move up on the purple here. And I have another yellow. It's not gonna get me too much there. And I'm not at three. Oh, I guess that's one thing that I missed too. Um, Based off of where you are on this track here, you can see because they are blue, they're um, a darker blue, and these ones are the colors, they open up different things over here. So like we couldn't potentially use the market or build the market until we were at a level four here on this track. So that kind of, maybe I should have did two over here so that I could have gotten that one. But now I think I'm gonna be stuck with that purple one. So I'll just go ahead and do that, get rid of the yellow. And I think, oh, I should have flipped this over too. And I forgot, it won't do anything. It was just for these right here or the cards, but I'm a little far away from that, I think. And I think that is it for the purple. So I'll go ahead and throw that away. And now I'm just gonna be playing easy for this game because I'm pretty sure I'd get my butt kicked if I played on medium or hard. And so I guess we're gonna go ahead and see what's gonna happen. We're gonna draw one card and, oh, look at that, I'm so lucky. It's coming in from that end, I don't get it. So I will get one Valor for that because I didn't let anybody in. Nobody kicked down my doors. Perfect. Okay, so I will move this over and we will draw one of these and I will flip these two over, get them out so I don't forget again. So this one, I got one black, two blue, oops, oh my gosh, slippery, and three purple and one yellow, one resource, and then I will flip two of these ones over. 
Um, completed wall guard section. I'm usually pretty good at completing that. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and use that one for my second year reward over here. So this one will give me a blue and a resource. And then I have two resources circled in down here. So now I have a total of four. Whew, all right. What kind of damage are we gonna do this time? So let's go ahead. Ooh, should I do it now? Yeah, maybe let's do it now. I'm gonna take a purple and a blue and a resource because I'm past the one here so that I can build my medium greenery. Um, all right, so I have that built. I have that built. Now I have another yellow. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna pay the yellow. It's gonna give me a blue. Now I am going to, oh, now I don't have a yellow. What did I do? That's okay, I'm gonna use my blue to pay for this one. It's gonna give me a yellow. So now I have a yellow and a purple so that I can pay for this because now I'm at the small or the three level on that track. So I paid that so that I can get these right here. Gives me a resource. It gives me a resource production and it gives me a one of these. All right. Now that's that. Now I still have two blue. Maybe I should go up on this track. That'll give me, ooh, another yellow. Another yellow, I think I'll do this one down here. I haven't done that one yet. It's almost like I use everything and just go over like that. Okay, so that gave me another resource. And now I'm all the way up here. So how much is this? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm gonna use Oof, no, okay. I'm gonna use these four resources to fill, um, yeah, one, two, three, and four, fill those in. So now I get an extra one of those. I get a renown, I get a yellow, oh, I get a yellow. Yellow's not gonna get me what I want black or oh I have a black okay I was going to do this up here but I think I'm going to do this one because it gets me one discipline which is fine but because I have one um, left so I'm going to just pick that one for that resource and then I'll be able to do one on my right cohort 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 okay so now I have a yellow and a purple. I can go up here. This will get me another one for another resource for the purple. And it will give me another resource production for my following years. Now I have one yellow left. If I did this, it would give me the market. Um, yep, let's go ahead and do that for that one. And now that I have this, now I can, ooh, my sippy here, I can pay for that. And now put another one on my left cohort. Okay, that is it, that is it. So now the second year, I'm drawing two cards, please. Oh, I got it, good, okay. So now I get two Valor on this one. Move these over. Now I get two Valor, nice. Oh, and now I get one of these black ones for the following year. Perfect. I'll go ahead and put those ones away. Now I'll draw two. I'm doing things a little backwards every single time, hey? Sorry. Okay, constructed landmarks. Ooh, I only ever usually get one of those. Total gladiator strength. I don't usually touch the gladiators because they cost a lot. Um, so let's go ahead and use them for their resources here. So one purple and one resource. Okay, now we'll flip this. Okay, two black, one blue, two purple, two yellow, one resource. And we'll flip these over. Whew, okay, now I got four of these, holy moly. 
One, two, three, four. That's a whole jumping bunch of resource. All right, what are we doing? What are we doing? We're gonna do a whole bunch of things. I can see it now. Well, one, two, let's go ahead and just use two of these black ones for these. Then I get another discipline, and then now I get to add another one. I'm gonna stick it in my center cohort here. Now, 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 I'm gonna go ahead and use Oh, yeah, I'm gonna use my blue too, so that I can do that. Um, I got a yellow, and then I'm gonna use two of my resources for that and that. I get a renown, and I get another yellow. Woof, throwing things around. All right. Now I have no blue. Can I get a blue? I can get a blue. How many do I have left? Three. One, two, three. I'm going to keep one because I gained one here. And then I get a blue. Because why did I want a blue? What did I need a blue for? Oh, right. We're in what, the third year? talking out loud and I still don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so we paid that so that we get this one here. Really, that's what I wanted to do? And I could have did that. That's all right, all right. Did I, I don't think I got rid of these three, did I? Okay, so I have one left. Ooh, a yellow. I can't get another I'm past six. Okay. Oh, I need two yellow. Dang. Okay. I'm at one. I don't have any blue. That's fine. Let's go ahead and start filling in these because they have two black in here. Well, so do they. That's okay. I don't know what's with this car driving by. Okay. Three. I have no yellow, I have no blue. I should start doing these down here too to help me gain some more workers. Okay, so three, one, two, and three. That gets me a resource and um, another production for my resource. Now I have three resources. What am I gonna do with these? Ugh, I should have used that for this over here because now I just have to get rid of these resources. Nothing, hey? I don't have theater built. I should have built the theater too. Um, nope, I guess they're going away. That sucks. Should have paid more attention to that. Okay, so year three. We are now drawing three cards. Okay, two in the center and one to the left. So I did get it, which is good. Nobody came through, so I get three Valor. Ooh, gaining another worker. All right, not too bad. Not terrible at all. See, I told you this game was gonna go by fast. I'm already halfway done. Okay, completed citizen tracks, ooh. Or filled temples? Ooh. Let's do completed citizen track. So we'll gain two purple from this. Oof, two purple. Okay. I'll stick this back over here. And these ones can go away. Flip two more. And okay. I'm sure you guys can hear that on camera. Okay, so two black, two blue, three purple. Oof, only one yellow and no. Oh, okay, well that's a good, okay. I got five coming into me anyway, so I didn't really need any more resources. Oops, shuffling things around. 
Yep. All right. Let's get to it. Okay. I'm definitely, I have this completed wall guard here, so I really need to get this done. So I'm going to use two of these black ones for those two. I gain a discipline, which gives me a blue. And I get to add another one right there for my cohort. And that is for that. Okay. Um, oh, crud. Okay. Okay. I'm going to use a purple and a blue and one resource. And I'm going to fill this one in here for my small hotel. And then I gain a yellow. And oh, should I do that? No, not yet. Not yet. I think I will build the theater. Oops. And then I gain a renown, which gets me a yellow. All right. Maybe it's the camera, but I'm usually further ahead than this when I play. Okay, so that built that. I am at one, so I'm gonna pay another resource to do this, which gets me a renown, and that was in the fourth year. Okay, I really like this duo of a pen with the marker at the end and then the pen on the other side. Really works well for this game. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Let's do it. I'm going to use two yellow and a purple and I'm going to do my medium precinct here. So it's going to get me these things. Give me another one of those and for one for the production as well. And then another discipline. So that got me that. And then now, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to build my market. So one blue, one purple, and two resource. And that gets me another renown. So now I'm actually going to use it. I'm gonna do it. Oof. I'm gonna use this one for a two. For two, and then it gets me one renown, which will get me another yellow. Maybe I'll regret that, I don't know yet. <laughs> okay. Okay, how can I get a blue? I don't, I have two yellow, nope. No, but this will get me a black. Okay, I'm gonna do my two yellow right here. This one gets me a discipline. And it gets me a black for my two yellow. Now I have two black. And that gets me another yellow or blue. Hmm. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and do this because then, oh, and that got me a blue. Because then at least my Next one. Oh, I'm in the fourth. Perfect. That worked out so well. Okay, so this is the fourth year. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my blue and I'm going to do this so that I get one more. So give me another discipline. Okay, and then I guess I'll use my purple for right here. Right at the end. Woohoo! I used all of everything. Okay. Now, because I gave this one the resource, now instead of drawing four, we're drawing five. So three, four, and five. So we have three in the center, three in the center, and two on the right. Okay, so I let one in, so I only get two valor. Whoops. And I let one in, so 
So now I have to circle a disdain. All right. All right. It's going to be okay. It's not my first one. Flip these. Flip that one. All right. One black, three blue, one purple, one yellow, and two of the resources. Now, final disdain. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Large buildings. Ugh. Um, I'm going to go with large buildings because maybe. Because maybe. So that gets me a blue and a yellow. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Well, I'm still missing a yellow for that one. So let's go ahead and just use that for this, which gets me a yellow. So three yellow and one purple. I'm going to go ahead and try to do the, uh, well, not try to, I guess I am, the large precinct down here, which gets me another resource. It gets me another resource production. And it gets me a renown, which doesn't actually get me anything other than an extra point at this point. Um, I got a whole bunch of blue, don't I? And some of that. Okay, well was already done okay so I have four four one two three four yeah okay let's do it so it gets me a yellow it gets me a discipline and it gets me one more from my cohort so we're gonna go ahead and do that get another discipline which gets me another blue and now I have three of these one, yeah, let's, ooh, one, two, now can anything get me, yes, I'm going to use my yellow to get me another one of these so that I can do four, so one, two, three, four, right, yes, one, two, that gets me another yellow, gets me another one of those, gets me a discipline, um, so that was two. Now one and two. That gets me a renown and another one of these. I'll do it there. So that was all four of those. Now, 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 now. <sighs> okay, next time I have to do the large greenery too. Um, None of that left. Blue. Oh no. I am stuck. Oh, I got all these blue left and nowhere to put them. What are we, five now? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use one of the blue at least for this. Oh, I forgot to. Oop, where am I? Um, one blue so that I can do that. Well, crud, crud, crud. Must be another blue, but what the heck do I need another blue for? Hmm. That's all right, I guess. All right, well, we're gonna do it anyway. Doesn't matter. Double check again for blue. Ah, I should have built a large greenery. That's what I should have done. And I got no more resources. I'm not at three. Nope, that's it. Bye bye, blue. All right, so now we are drawing six cards. I'm not doing so hot. Oops, what is that? That's five and six. Okay, so one for the left and three for the top, for the center. One, two, three, and then two for the left. Perfect. I got them all. Nobody snuck in today. Okay, so that gives me three Valor. One, two, three, and I gain one black. Okay, whew, last round. Last round, okay. Which one? Completed scout columns? I haven't even done anything down there. Holy, completed cohort. 
I probably have a better chance of completing a cohort. So we'll use that as that. My last two. And all right. So one black, two blue, two purple, one yellow, two resources, and seven more. Holy four, five, six, and seven. Okay. Now it's time to think, I guess. I only need two more to get three points. Citizen track. I at least need two to get one point. Okay. And then large buildings. Okay. Well, first of all, we're going to finish our large greenery here so that I can do some more stuff. So a purple, a blue, and two resources. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. That gets me another renown, Ooh, which gets me another yellow. Okay, now we're somewhere. Will that get me a blue? No, that'll get me black, which might get me more. Okay, yeah, we'll work with these. That'll get me that and a black, and that was for two yellow. All right, now, 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 I'm gonna use my blue for this one and then three one two one two three four i don't quite think i'm getting that okay so one two three black for two yellow so that my two yellow can do this now i have that extra point um, for discipline, which gets me a blue, and that also got me a blue. So we'll do that. Now I have two citizen tracks completed, which gave me the one point. It was a lot of work for one point. All right. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this one. I get one discipline for the black. I'm gonna go ahead and trade one of these blue ones in for my last year for a sword so that I can do one more on my cohort. Okay. Okay, one, two, three large buildings. One, two, three. Hmm, where is there another large, large garden? Ugh, no, oh, this is really working out that well. Okay, well, oh crud, I haven't even been taking my extra yellow. That's two rounds now. Oh well, my own fault, pay attention, right? Okay, so two resources, one blue, one purple, and then I get one renown and one yellow. So that is good. And one yellow is not going to get me anything. Lant, lant, lant. All right, I'll stick the yellow there. And now my walls. I got five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, that's a yellow three, four, five, another yellow and a renown. And should I add a valor? I might kick myself in the butt. I'm gonna go with a valor. So I'm gonna get some another one of these. And then, oh, I'd be so close. I'll do that for black. And now my two yellow Oh, well, at least get me another black so I can do another one on the wall guard. That got me, oh, discipline with nothing. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay, one left. 
May as well do that one. Oh, which gets me a yellow. Okay. Doesn't do anything there. That gets me a purple. Oh, let's go ahead and do this one because it at least gets me one point. All right. I wish that was it. All right. Drawing eight cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right. Do we think I will do it? Oh yeah, look at that. I'm covered here, I'm covered in the center, and on the right. That's only two, perfect. Woohoo! okay, so that gets me four, Valor. Okay, so that's the end. Now I just have to score up the points. So, let's start with these cards here first. Okay, so resource production, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. I got six, so that's two points. Completed wall guard sections, I only got two completed, so that's two points. Completed landmarks. I didn't get any done, so that does not give me any points at all. Completed citizen tracks, I got two, so that gives me one point. And large buildings. Oh, I wish I would have gotten that fourth one, but I only got three. So one, two, and three for the large precinct. So that got me one point. And then completed cohorts. Nada, none of them. Got me nothing. Okay. So this one, renown 13. Oh my gosh, what? I'm usually up so high in this one. Okay, so one, and Valor is 16, and Discipline 14. And I still do have one Disdain, but that is only one point. Okay, so be right back. I'm going to calculate. Okay, so I got 49, which let's see what it is. Centurion. Well... One point shy. Not terrible for my first solo game. I will give it that. Not terrible at all. This game is pretty fun. Uh, especially, it's, it's pretty interactive. Well, not interactive because you're not talking with anybody. But it's very, you get into this game. It almost doesn't even feel like a flip and write because um, you're just doing so much on these pieces of paper right here and everything like there's just so much going on there's no way that you're going to fill in everything um i mean i'm no professional either so i don't know maybe you would fill it in i don't know let me know in the comments down below if you've ever played this game and have filled in everything or have gotten way further than i have obviously the points go up to 70 plus so maybe you are filling in a whole bunch of things um, I definitely stick to this side of the board, which is, I think, like the, the fortress side versus the society side over here. I definitely favor this side of the board or the paper a lot more just because I feel like you have enemies coming at you and you don't want anybody coming in. So you're trying to build up, you know, your fortress. So everything really ties in well together. I feel like that since this was the first time that I've played solo and on camera, it definitely it was pretty easy to play. It wasn't um, terribly hard or anything like that. It was pretty easy, uh, very similar, obviously, to the way that you would play with um, two or more players. The only difference is whenever you are flipping over these cards, um, instead of just flipping up one, you're flipping over two cards which help you a little bit more out. I guess it's just to replace that second player because you still do play with these uh, this deck. It's just you're only flipping over one card. Um, so like I said, with this game too, I, I just do whatever, which I'm sure you saw, right? Whatever I see first that I can do is what I do. And it doesn't really work out that bad. Like, I mean, I still, what did I get? 49, 49 still isn't a terrible mo bad mark. Um, it's probably my lowest one, but my first time playing solo and it was on easy. I think I got a higher mark whenever I played on medium for the first time. <laughs>
but I guess it all depends too on what you're pulling, which cards you decide to uh, go with so that you can score the points afterwards and things like that, right? And you might not get the same cards, or I guess you get the same cards, but it's always different, right? So you might get just cards that you don't normally go with, but you're stuck between picking between two different cards. So it is always different, right? So you never know what you're gonna get. Um, and the length of this game is probably really good too, like the six years that you're playing over. Basically how you play the game, whether you take a long time to think for it or you just kind of do what I do and just do whatever that comes, whatever you see first is what you're doing. So you, it all depends on you how long this game actually lasts for. I couldn't tell you right now how long the game has lasted for for me because I'm recording it and I can't see. <laughs> but I don't think that it was terribly too long and it's a nice filler game really and just something if you wanted to play a quick game of. It's super easy to set up. Really there's not much to this game, just the cards and the workers, the resources, um, these and then this game comes with a whole bunch of these um, the pieces of paper um, and they're really really thick. I'll take it out for you just in case you haven't seen them. They come with two huge pads of paper. You get two of them so you're not running out for a long time. It's really nice that they added the easy, medium, and hard game so that once you get used to playing on the easy you can move on to medium and then hard and then Yes, it's still the same game, but it progressively gets a little bit harder. So you have to up your strategy, which this game is full of, obviously. So there you have it. Thank you for sticking around for my overview, my playthrough, and my review on this game. I think it is really, really fun. It's probably the best flip and write or roll and write or any type uh, that I have played. So if you're thinking about playing it, you should really think about trying it out. I will catch you guys next video. What is happening? I don't understand this.